Alright, so we've built our funnels and now it's time to do some basics about them, such as SEO. And in this video we'll be discussing some of the basic things that you can do for the ranking of your pages, funnels and even websites on the web for Google and other search engines to be easier to find and generate you more traffic, organic traffic, yes. And when you start sharing as well, this is very, very important to have these essentials and they will take you no more than 5-10 minutes actually to create. So what are some of the basics and they will be looking into? Which are the meta titles and descriptions? The page text structure of your you know, pages, obviously. Uh, social sharing images and image descriptions. These are the basic things that we'll be looking into this video about your pages. So let's dive deep into the SEO. So now we are in one of our funnels that we've already created. Uh, we just selected the home type of a funnel. Basically, it doesn't matter what kind of a funnel you select. So what are the essentials that you can start with? Obviously, you have a clear idea what is your business about? What is your page about? It doesn't matter if it's home type of a, like a website type of a funnel or a sales funnel. Ranking on the web and showing well when somebody shares your pages and so on, it's really, really important. So don't underestimate this part because that can get you more customers. So go into the funnel settings and there you have the option on each step, which is a page, to go into the show settings section. So basically this shows you what is your page name, the URL, and you can also obviously restrict the access, but it doesn't matter. So you have the SEO info section. And basically this is where you can add your page title and page description, which is the meta title and meta description known as SEO. Why is this important? And what is, what is this title and description? This title and description is basically when you search something on the web, like for example SpaceX. You see the title is the, the headline that shows here. So in this case it's a company but a uh, company's name only but uh, in, in most cases you can also use something like you know, SpaceX, uh, space company or uh, you know, sending rockets to, um, you know, trying to send rockets to Mars and so on as part of your headline. And as well the description is here. The meta description, the meta title and the meta descriptions are the two things that will show here when somebody is searching for you. And it is very important because these are one of the key things that also Google and other search engines are looking into when they are trying to rank a page. So it is important to have a really nice and compelling text here and here to make sure that your customers, visitors, when they are searching for you, to click on the on your you know, on your name uh, so that they can visit you also it is important to have some of the keywords that are the most essential for your product so if you are selling let's say um, you know i don't know beds for example talk about the bed so the best place to buy a bed for you know for something so some of the keywords that are essential for for your business and that you think that people would be searching for uh, when when they are looking for your business so it is nice to see what kind of a keywords they might be searching and you can also search them on the web and see how many people are looking into them so good you know tools to look into those will actually link it below this video such as the keyword planner where you can see the volume of different keywords so that you can add these more of these keywords inside your meta title and description and inside your page when you're writing your content. So these are important parts. And it's actually very, very simple. So keep it short, but keep it uh, well, uh, you know, structurized. And this, you have this orange line at, uh, at the bottom. And this is actually for a reason. When you see that when you write a bit more text, that will actually go green. So green is kind of the optimal uh, space that you can take. But if you write too much, it will actually go into red, which is too much. So a lot of the text might be cut off. So keep it in the orange green zone for the title and for the description as well. So description is the same way. You just have more text that you can add there. As you can see, you can add a lot more, of course. Uh, and you can see, you can have different things, but uh, yeah, around 180 to 100 symbols is uh, for the description. All right, you also can have it as added to the sitemap. The sitemap is something that you can submit to Google Console, for example, where people 
uh, it will be easier for Google to index your your uh, funnel and basically to uh, show it quicker on the web, uh, which is important. And if you don't know how to do that, we'll also include a link below how to submit your funnel, your URL, your sitemap to Google Console so that you get uh, easily ranked and indexed into Google as well. So these are the essential things for every page that you need to do. These are also important because if you share uh, you know, a page specifically, uh, let's say on Facebook, the page title and meta description uh, actually will be the thing that will show when you share this on the social media, not just Facebook. So it is important to add that as well. It's also important to add the social sharing image when we're in that. So you just go into funnel settings and you have the social sharing image that you can add to your funnel. So you just select the, the image and yeah, that's it. That will be the image that will show when somebody is sharing or you're sharing this, uh, this funnel, this domain to your social media uh, networks. So these are the basics about the ACO when it comes to the page. So now it is about the structure. What is the structure and how you can organize better your content on your pages for SEO? It is important to have H tags. So H tags is the headlines. And that's why we have a H tag heading and normal paragraph text. Uh, because the headlines are basically for places like this, where you want to highlight the specific areas of your page. And having a compelling text on the first one, which is the H1, is also key to have some of the keywords maybe something compelling that also when Google for example bots are coming to your pages to read the text and see alright this is the important part that that's why it's h1 and you can have only one per page don't do you two by page then you can have h2s h3 tags as in these cases because that basically shows the bot what is the hierarchy of the uh, of the whole page and it is important to have those H tags. So don't use text widgets and make them super big to, for headlines. Just use the H tags, the headlines. And actually that's how the whole pages have been structured. You don't really have to mess up all that much. All the blocks and everything, they come with the H tags already pre-made. So just make sure that you use the H tags as well to organize your content. And it is important in your pages to use keywords that are essential for your business. Don't push them too much, but include them in the whole thing so that it's part of the whole page. And basically, these are the things that what your you know organic visitors would be also search before that. So include them. Make sure that the content of the page is relevant to what they're looking for. And this is actually one of the tips that I can give you for SEO. Be relevant. Because one of the factors that helps a page rank is how much time a user stays on that page. So if they you know, for example, look for um, professional business development advising, like in this title, and they get in and they don't find the information they need. It's something completely different. And they just, for a few seconds, just go out, bounce. That shows Google that, all right, well, obviously this page is not really very relevant for this type of uh, search, so we'll rank it low. So make sure that the page, the content is relevant and people stay on it people read, people find information that they want, because that will rank you better in Google as well. This is a SEO tip. And lastly, for your pages, what you can also do is, when you have an image of any sort, let's say this image, when you double click, you have the description, image description. And basically here you can add some small description about the image, so that Google also knows what kind of an image this is. That's it, all the images, just add a description of them. This is important for SEO again. And that's about it. That's all the things that basically you have to do for your pages. Make sure that your content is very well organized, that you use H tags, and don't forget to use your meta title uh, descriptions and uh, meta title and descript meta description for each one of your pages. So let's say even on the thank you page, you can add meta title and description if you wish. But it is most essential for your landing page, of course. So use them, add them to sitemap so that Google can actually find each of those. And that's about it. This is how you do your SEO for your funnels and basically for your websites as well, for your pages. 
It is important that your pages are also fast, but we ensure that with the super fast Amazon hosting that we provide. So these are some of the essential things that you can do to improve your ranking in social media, uh, well, not in social media, in, uh, in search engine uh, places, but in also shows social media uh, to be able when somebody shares or you share uh, your funnels and pages to also look very well by having the meta title and description and the social sharing image on that pages that you share. All right, that's about it. Uh, it's very simple. It can take you just like 10-15 uh, minutes for a funnel basically to optimize add a few meta titles and descriptions. But of, of course, uh, you might want to do more time into research into keywords, of course. Uh, and again, below this video, we'll have a few you know, different tips and links so you can submit your sitemap and do some keyword research. It's really easy and simple. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this video and talk to you in the next one.